On this episode of Mahjong Nash and Such, I'm going to make pepper jack quichettes. I made that up. They're really mini pepper jack quiches, but I kind of like the word quichette. All right, so that's what we're going to make. Let's get to the ingredients. So we have four eggs, a half a cup of breadcrumbs, a cup of pepper jack cheese. We have a half a cup of half and half, then some salt and pepper in here. There's, um, let's see, an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then here we have some pimento, chopped pimento. That's about a quarter, or actually, it's less than a quarter cup. And then this is less than a quarter cup of green chilies, chopped green chilies. And basically, this is probably more like a third of a cup. The recipe called for a quarter cup of green chilies, but I want pimento in there too. So I kind of estimated a half and half. So these are draining on paper towel to try to get some of this water out of it. So it's good to just let that drain while you're getting everything together and by the time it all goes into the recipe it should be fine. Okay so the first thing we need to do is get our eggs, milk, and salt and pepper together. With no shell. And there's a little bit of shell in there. Milk, or half and half, really. And then the salt and pepper. So now I'm going to whisk this up. All right, now what we need to do is spray these with Pam. Oh. It said generously. I think I got a bit generous there. So these have been prepared. The next thing that we're going to do is sprinkle a tablespoon of breadcrumb in each of the muffin holes. Wait a minute. A tablespoon. Okay, the tablespoon, I almost ruined it already. The tablespoon is for the eggs. A teaspoon is for the muffin, the bottom of the muffin thing. And then it said to kind of tap the, muff, the breadcrumbs so it comes up the sides of the muffin cup. So this is going to take a minute. Let me show you real quick though what it looks like. See? It's kind of coming up the side there a little bit. So I'm basically making a mess, uh, but you just put that in there and then just put this inside and kind of wiggle it around. Just like that. So you just take a teaspoon, you pour it in there, just kind of tap it down and stir it around. The goal is to just get the breadcrumb kind of up the side of the cup. Now I'm making minis. The recipe, I believe, is for bigger muffins, 
So I have no idea how far this egg is going to go. So I'm just going to fill, I think, all of these and we'll see what happens. So I will speed this up. I think if the recipe called for this much breadcrumb and that many eggs, however many tins I can fill, it should work out. We'll find out if it'll work out. These last two I think are going to be a little teeny bit shy or maybe one of them. <laughs> I think that's going to work out just fine. In here I'm going to go ahead and add these chilies. We'll just scoop them off the paper towel into that egg. Lost my pimento. Okay, then we'll just scrape that into the egg. And then we'll add the cheese. And I'm just going to use this to kind of stir it up. Because this is what we're going to use to put it into the muffin tin. Smells really nice. All right, so I'm going to get to filling. We'll see how this goes. Oh, it barely fit. And I'm sure it's going to puff up a bit too. I think I probably should have whisked it a little bit more vigorously. Yeah, because it's a bit clumpy. I think it'll be all right though. Wow, that worked out really good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put these in a 350 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. So I'll check it in 12 minutes. Twelve minutes and we'll check them out and see if they're ready to come out. This is a pretty easy recipe, I think. And you know, this is kind of um, sort of a Tex-Mex flavor, but you could put all kinds of ingredients in there. Like the any type of quiche, use those ingredients. So this might be a good keeper. I'm not sure if that's going to be a one bite. It might be two. We'll find out soon, I think though. we're just about ready to pull these out. There it is. Let's go see how they look. They're still a little gooey on top. I think I'll go three more minutes. I put the timer on 12 minutes and it said to go 12 to 15 minutes. So I think I might need another three minutes. So three more minutes and they'll be ready. They look beautiful. They look like little muffins. I think they're definitely going to be two bites though. But I think they should be pretty clean. Maybe. We'll find out in about five minutes. Just a few 
few more seconds and we should be able to pull them out. It smells very nice in here. It smells like breakfast. But I think this will be great for brunch. Even lunch. Or brinner, as my son calls it. Breakfast for dinner. Brinner. Let's get them out. There they are. They look really nice. They look like sunshine. I think there'll be some carryover cooking. So I'm going to let these cool because they're sizzling hot. But they smell really nice. And I'm really glad I added that pimento because it added some really nice little color in there. So we have, I think this might even be nice for maybe a Valentine's brunch or maybe even for the holidays. Very, very nice. I'm looking forward to a nibble. Parchment. So here's how I do this. I just get a, whatever plate you have, just kind of map it out. It's easiest to fold it in half because then you do less cutting. And you could even fold it in half again. I don't really crease it though, because I don't want my paper creased. And then you can cut off the rough edges. Okay, I think we need to cut that a bit. A little bit of creasing is just fine because it's going to be covered up by the food. <gasps> oh, that's for something else. Thought maybe I was going to burn something. Okay, so there we go. It's a bit crooked. All right, I guess that'll be just fine. So I'm going to get a spoon out so we can get these out. Oh, it's still a little bit crummy. And I really don't want the crumbs uh -oh. on this. Okay. I'm not sure what to do about that. It's my first time making these. I think I'm just going to tap the bottom. That seems to be working. I don't want anyone to have a dusty bite. See how kind of dusty it is there? But I think a, a little pat of butter would be really nice. I suppose if you're dieting, maybe just spray it a little bit more than I did. I think it's still going to be just fine. I think it's going to be tasty regardless. Oh, it's still a little hot. But they're very pretty, I think. Ooh, it's going to take a little bit of time. I think next time I will put a little teeny pat of butter in there. Or you know, I wonder if they have squeezable butter. I know they have squeezable margarine, but I don't like margarine. I really never have liked that margarine. I think it's because we would take it camping when I was little and I was I would always get car sick and that that margarine oh it just did not sit well with me. 
not only that, but sweet rolls. My mom would buy sweet rolls. I would get sick every time. I even just smelled it. So between the margarine, the sweet rolls, and carnation instant milk, I did not do well camping when it came to sustenance. I loved being out in the woods and stuff though. I love camping, but some of the food just made me really sick. And I would be, that car sickness would hang with me for at least two days. Not good. Of course I outgrew it, thankfully. So I think we're gonna have a nice little taste tester. I think it looks really nice on the plate too. So let's, let's have a little taste. You can see the cheese on there. And the back is a bit dusty. Does that look yummy? There's that back, it's a bit dusty, but I think, yeah, look at, we'll definitely need napkins, but, and I think this is gonna be a good one biter. I think I can handle that. Let's find out. Mm hmm. Mm. Very good. Tastes kind of like an omelet. I think that was pretty good, but I think this breadcrumb on the bottom is a fail. I would not do this. I think there are some little uh, mini uh, pie crusts that you can buy or you can make your own. So I think next time I'm gonna make my own crust. This breadcrumb thing, I don't think worked very well at all. But the idea is fabulous. So I think the idea is a keeper. It's the crust. So stay tuned for another trial of Pepper Jack Quichettes. This one's with breadcrumb. The next one will be with homemade dough. Give it a try yourself and let me know. Although you might wanna hold off until I make my own dough. Or you can make your own dough because this breadcrumb thing, no, I didn't like it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so you don't miss any opportunities to find a recipe that might be good for your next Mahjong event. Between now and the next Mahjong Nash and Such, may all your picks be keepers.